preparing for the launch of your manifesto just this coming Saturday? So far, so good. So far, so good. I want to refer you to a comment you made earlier uh, that the NDC is not going to be part of any peace pact. What is the purpose of signing a peace pact if it is not to guarantee peace? But the foundation for peace has not been laid properly. There is rule of law and that those who misconduct themselves outside the law will be dealt with. And that is what guarantees the peace. But you have a situation where we have gone through this cycle before. And any law that does not come with sanctions is less a piece of advice. Chairman, you do not think that it is your, the responsibility of a big opposition party like the NDC to ensure that you're committed to peace? It is not about the commitment. If violence is brewing and you go you just say that, oh, I'm signing a piece of paper that will guarantee peace. You will never get peace. And we made this point before the 2020 elections. The 2020 election turned out to be the most violent elections in the history of this country. So if we are not learning from our own history, we are bound to repeat it. So we saying that, let us work to remove the things that to generate violence, then we don't even need to sign a document. But that involves so all the political that, parties, no, including it yourself. it involves government mm -hmm. and the state institutions. The Peace Council has the capacity to engage these institutions to ensure that they will do what will guarantee peace. But if you condone all the wrong things that are happening, and you know the results is that uh, there is going to be explosion. And you are calling on me, as Asir Nketiah, to sign a document and you think that will guarantee peace. Let me ask them, the one I signed four years ago, they did guarantee peace in the 2020 election. Eight people were killed. Peace Council and is denying that, these things. After that, ah, so if Peace Council says that eight people were not killed. That's not what Peace Council is saying. What Peace Council is saying it has been engaging political parties, including yourselves. It's there are discussions you've done, us. but you're we not communicating that. to we your are people. That we Go and talk to the law enforcement agencies. Let our people hear that the people who were killed in Techiman, the people who were killed in Accra, the people who were maimed in Ayawasu West Wogong, they are here. They are being prosecuted for wrongdoing. So it becomes a justic that if you approach in the election and you engage in violent conduct, there are consequences for you. Thing. If that does not happen, and you say that your focus is just to engage we, the leadership, it will undermine our leadership as well because if I deploy people to go and work peacefully at the uh, polling station to ensure peaceful election, and some of them get killed, some of them got maimed, I maintain that they are cool, advise them that there will be consequences so next so that next time when you are going nobody will have the audacity to do that and you have a president of the republic and the government in place together with all these peace institutions they keep quiet and nothing has happened for four years if you are sending the same people to go to the same theater and you say that we in the party leadership has gone to sign a document. So that is a guarantee. So you can communicate that, the information to your grassroots. That when they come there and they deploy soldiers, police to shoot at them, the document will protect them. Could you think that this comment was irresponsible? How do you respond to them? Well, it is, it is their view. I think that they are engaged in irresponsible conduct as well. We are guilty of not facing the truth and calling the government and state institutions to implement our laws. Elections alone cannot just happen in isolation from the institutions that, that, that guarantee peace at the polling station. So if Kodio thinks that you can, political parties can just get up and sign documents and then go to election theater, when a government in place will deploy security people to come and shoot at People who are insisting that they were employed they to just shoot at them. Why not? Tachima, it was there. Uh, Ayawasu West Wogon. It happened. A minister of state came out to say that I deployed the people to go and do that. What has happened to that minister? He has been promoted. What are you going to do to assure Ghanaians that you are a party for peace? They know. Ghanaians already know that we are a party for peace because 
we have kept quiet, hoping that the state institutions will deal with the criminals. They have not been dealt with. But we have to hear and you so telling your people. No, our people know. For you have to tell them. Years, to tell them that what? That they have to be peaceful. So if they are cutting their truths, they have to be peaceful. I'm not going to tell them. Those who are talking about peace, they are not playing their role. If you don't have the register, which has to be provided by electoral commission, they haven't provided it. They are advertising that you are going to exhibit what you don't have. And these wrong things are happening. The Peace Council is aware. Everybody is aware. Kodio is aware. You are not talking about that one. And if you say I should come and sign that an election where I cannot even see the register before it is exhibited is going to be peaceful, I should sign. I will not sign. Your final words. That's my final word. <laughs> Most good.